Hey, you guys. So, I'm at the school today. That's why I have this mask on. And uh, we're going to uh, talk about the treble clef again today. Um, some of you watched last week's video, and perhaps you did the activity with the treble clef drawing. But some of you did not watch last week's video, and maybe now you need to get caught up. Okay, so we are going to draw a staff for a treble clef. Treble clef looks like this. It's kind of a swirly design. And the thing is, you can totally draw that. I'm going to show you how. All right, so first thing we need is a, a staff. Now, up till now, we've been doing a staff that just had one line like that. And then I would put bar lines on it like that, double bar lines at the end like that, but just one line. And then we'd put our count here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then I would put the, the notes in cake, 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 ice cream, shh, shh, cake, cake, like that. And then I might put letters that would tell you what pitch it was. C, 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 shh, shh, C, C. That's all about to change, okay? Because what I'd like to do, instead of doing it this way with one line and letters, we're going to do it the real way. And to do it the real way, we need a staff with five lines. One, two, three, ooh, that's a squiggly line, four, five. Counting from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. So that's what we're going to be working with now. So you need a piece of paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and some markers like what I have or whatever you use to do your schoolwork or your artwork or whatever. You got that? Are you ready? Okay. First thing I want you to do, and if you watched last week's video, you, you did this already, and I want you to do it again. It'll be good practice for you. Okay? So if you watched last week's video and did the activity then, you've got a head start. Uh, but that doesn't give you a pass today. To, I want you to do it again. So step one write the numbers one two three four five starting at the bottom and stacking them top on top like this one two three four five like that and then out through each one of those letters uh, numbers i want you to draw a line like this one two, three, four, five. This is our staff. S T A F F. This is our staff. Now what we're working towards is this. Each one of these lines, one, two, three, four, five, and each one of these spaces in between the lines, zero, one, two, three, four, each one of these spaces has a letter that represents a pitch connected to it. Okay? Now we'll learn about that later. What I want to do today is walk you through drawing the treble clef. All right. So here we have our staff. 
And what we're going to put on now is the treble clef. T R E B L E C L E F. So let's go above line five and in about this much on your staff, put a dot like that. Next, all right, so we're going to start at the top here. I'm going to go all the way down, and then we're going to hook it back up like that, put a ball on the end. So now we have a tall, skinny, J-shaped thing. That's what we're going to start with. Now you'll notice that this J crosses all of these lines. So that's where line one crosses the J. Line two crosses the J, line three crosses the J, line four crosses the J, line five crosses the J. And it's important to remember that because that's what we're going to use to draw our treble clef. Okay? Now find the place where line four crosses the J and put a dot right where it crosses. Do you see that? You see what we did there? We put a dot right where line four crosses the J. Now we're going to go back up to the dot at the top and we're going to connect it to this dot with a D shape, capital D shape, like that. You with me so far? Next, find the place where the J crosses the one. So we're going to find line one. We're going to see where it crosses the J, and let's put a dot. Now this time we're going to connect this dot to this dot, but this time we're going to connect it with a C shape, like this. See? So now we have kind of a swervy line going on here. Next. Find the place where the J crosses line three. One, two, three. So here's where the line crosses line three. We're going to put a dot. See that? This time we're going to go to the dot that we just did at the bottom. And we're going to go up to this with another D shape like that. The last step, and this is the hardest part, Find where line two crosses the J. One, two. There's the spot. Let's put a dot there to mark our, our place. Now we're going to go back to this dot. And what we want to do is we want to swirl around and connect to our target. And that's it. That is your triple cliff. Very good. One more thing we need to do now. We are going to indicate which spaces have which letters and which lines have which letters. We're going to start with five letters. C, D, E, F, G. That's enough for starting out. Okay, so we're going to come below space zero. And we're just going to draw a circle. But we're going to make this circle special by putting a line through it like that. See that? Looks like a planet floating in space. This is a very special note. This is middle. Let's get rid of this. Middle. C. Now we're going to put another circle next to this one, but a little bit higher up. This time we're going to put our circle in space zero. It's going to touch line one, but not go over it. Do you see how it's touching line one, but not going over it? We're going to put a D there because this is the pitch D. Now we're going to put another circle on line one. 
notice that the circle has line one running right through the middle of it. You see that? This is E. Next, we're going to put a circle in space one. And this is note F. And finally, one more circle for today. We're going to go to line two. And follow it all the way down. This whole line is a G line. You could put your circle anywhere, but I'm going to put it here. G. That's a G. It may not look much like a G, but it is. Let's try again. Let's see if I can make that look more like a G. G. Is that better? Good. So now we have C, D, E, F, G. C, D, E, F, G. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. So those are the first five notes that we're going to learn to read on the treble clef staff. And I guess that'll do it for this week. I'll see you next week. Happy New Year. Bye. Hey, you guys. One more thing. So I was so glad to see so many people come to the music Zoom this past Tuesday at 9.15 with Miss Oso's class. And that was a lot of fun. But I got to thinking, and I think that from now on, we should do like a virtual music Zoom class, just us. What do you think? Yeah? Is that a good idea? Okay. So next week, starting next week, and we'll start Tuesday at uh, 8.30, um, we will do a live music Zoom class uh, with just you guys and me. And that way you'll get to talk to me face to face. We can like have our own little music class live. I think it'll be fun. And so um, let's give that a try. Tuesday, January 19th at 8.30 a.m. So that's going to be a little bit different than what we've been doing before. This is a change. So make sure you put it on your calendar. We're looking for live Zoom class for music Tuesday, January 19th, 8.30 a.m. Not 9.15 with Ms. Ozo's class. This is going to be 8.30 a.m. Just us. So, I hope you can all be there. Live music Zoom starting next Tuesday, January 19th, 8.30 a.m. We're going to be doing this from now on. It's going to be a regular thing, but I'm also still going to be doing the weekly videos. Yeah? Okay. That sounds good. I think I'm really looking forward to this. So I'll see you then.